After all said and done, the African Academy of Languages, ACALAN, the African Union's specialized language agency, carried out its activities for the year 2018 with January to December in review. As part of this activity report, ACALAN also organized feasibility and advocacy campaigns in member states within ministries of culture and education in a bid to make its activities and programs better known to the public and relevant stakeholders, as well as create more synergy and partnership for policy support. To start with, the statutory meeting of the Scientific and Technical Committee was held in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, at the African Union headquarters on the 5th and 6th February 2018, with all relevant stakeholders present. This was followed by another statutory meeting of the Governing Board of Akalan on the 7th of February 2018, also at the African Union headquarters at Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Members of the board, according to the Statutes of Akalan, were present and resolutions and amendments to Akalan statutes were made. The third statutory meeting of the year was that of the Assembly of Academicians of Akalan, held on the 24th to 25th July 2018 in Kigali, Rwanda. The statutory members of the Assembly of Academicians of Akalan and the Secretariat participated in it. Akalan participated in the third session of the Specialized Technical Committee on Youth, Culture and Sports that took place in Algiers, Algeria from the 21st to 25th October 2018 with the theme, Role of African Youth in Building a Strong Culture Towards Fighting Against Corruption. Two operational workshops were held in the course of 2018. The first was to establish the Ewe, Songe and Sonike Vehicular Cross-Border Language Commissions, organized in collaboration with the Center for Linguistics and Historical Studies of Oral Tradition, CELTO, in Niamey, Niger. While the second workshop, which took place in Kigali, Rwanda, was to establish the Sango and the Sisulu Language Commissions, it was organized in collaboration with the Rwanda Academy of Languages and Culture, RALC, and it took place from the 21st to 23rd December 2018. Furthermore, Akalan organized two workshops on the Linguistic Atlas of Africa for the ECOWAS region and the Islamic Republic of Mauritania. The first was a planning workshop on the 5th and 6th of June 2018 in Bamako, Mali, while the second was from the 31st of October to 2nd of November 2018 in Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire. A consultative meeting on planning workshop on the Pan-African Centre for Interpretation and Translation was held in Gaborone, Botswana, on the 19th to 20th June 2018. In addition, Akalan organized a workshop on African languages and the cyberspace in Gaborone, Botswana, on the 21st and 22nd of June 2018. A meeting of the Committee of the Akalan Prize for Excellence for Literary Works in African Languages took place in Bamako, Mali on the 30th and 31st of August 2018. On the 5th and 6th September 2018, the Executive Secretary of Akalan, Dr. Lang Fafa Damfa, accompanied by Akalan's documentalist, receptionist and administrative assistant, represented Akalan at the 5th Pan-African Cultural Congresses organized by the African Union Commission in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, under the theme Advancing the Africa Union Agenda 2063 through Culture and the African Creative Economy. The Congresses were attended by participants from African Union member states, Pan-African cultural institutions, civil society organizations, UNESCO, international organizations and the diaspora. The Executive Secretary of Akalan moderated the session on the state of intellectual property in Africa with sub-themes, content development and promoting of African content, improving stems of protection of intellectual property. On September 20 and 21, 2018, Akalan held a meeting with regional institutions and organizations of culture and languages in Nairobi, Kenya. The objective of the meeting was to identify common ground, strengthen partnerships, and create more synergy in the concerted efforts and common tasks in specific projects, such as the Linguistic Atlas of Africa, LAA, and the Pan-African Center for Interpretation and Translation, PASIT, and generally in the development and promotion of African languages, and to outline a roadmap for effective and efficient collaboration. The following partners attended the meeting and made recommendations. The African Cultural Fund, ACF, STC, Fulbe Africa, Salon International des Langues d'Abidjan, International Language Exhibition of Abidjan, the National Institute of Applied Linguistics, Bene, Baraza la Kiswahili, La Teifa in Chini, Tanzania, Bakita, Islamic Education and Research Academy, IERA, 
Pan-African Strategic and Policy Research Group, International Confederation of Societies of Authors and Composers, SISAC, Center for Research and Documentation on Oral Tradition and Development of African Languages, said Otola. Culture and Development for East Africa, CDEA, the Linguistic Association of Nigeria, LEN, Center for Bantu Civilization, SIBA, Observatory of Cultural Policies in Africa, OCPA, Ministry of Education, Kenya, the African World Heritage Fund, East African Community, EAC. Akalan organized a consultative and advocacy meeting in Lume, Togo from the 2nd to 5th October 2018 with its national working structures in member states of the African Union for the Development of Language Policies. In the course of the year in review, Akalan organized two workshops on the harmonization of the writing systems of African languages. The first harmonization workshop took place on the 18th and 19th of October 2018 in Brazzaville, Congo, while the second was held in Kampala, Uganda, from the 15th to 17th of November 2018. According to the Akalan Executive Secretary, Dr. Lang Fafa Danfa, the objective of the workshop was to harmonize the writing system of five vehicular cross-border languages, namely Kiswahili, Kinyarwanda, Kirundi, Luganda, Malagasy, and Somali languages. We um, are here to uh, harmonize the writing system of five vehicular cross-border languages. Uh, these are Kiswahili, uh, Kinyarwanda, Kirundi, Luganda, Malagasy, and Somali vehicular cross-border languages. Now, the uh, harmonization uh, um, exercise is based on uh, uh, the writing system, the orthography of these languages. We want to harmonize differences in orthographic practices. We want to create a common alphabet and the writing system for each of the vehicular cross-border languages concerned the five vehicular cross-border languages, we want to evaluate um, the different principles and the practices of the languages uh, in our societies, and um, we want to develop um, a standard form of writing uh, for each of the language so that um, uh, materials produced in one uh, country can be used in, a, in other countries, uh, meaning to maximize resources and minimize costs. We want to develop uh, uh, harmonized rules of grammar as well and make available uh, and disseminate the harmonized rules uh, uh, of writing to the member states to use them uh, uh, in the education system, um, to use them in our meetings, to use them as official languages and uh, etc. On the 10th and 11th of December 2018, at the headquarters of the Center for Research and Documentation on Oral Traditions and Development of African Languages, Sedotola, in Yaoundé, Cameroon, Akalan, Sedotola, and the Center for Bantu Civilization, Sisiba, jointly organized a consultative meeting and workshop on the Linguistic Atlas of Central Africa. Akalan held a consultative meeting with media practitioners from the African Union member states on the 27th and 28th of December 2018 in Kigali, Rwanda. The Akalan Executive Secretary, Dr. Lang Fafa Danfa, during the meeting highlighted the role of the media in African integration and development. He said that creating partnership with media practitioners in Africa is essential to the role of the media in relating information and transmitting news to the public. The importance of the media cannot be overemphasized. The media is transmitting, relating uh, information. The media relates information to the general public and no society can survive without communication. In essence, media workers are interpreters of information. They relate this information about society, about the nature of society, about human beings and the, 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 the main component, one of the major components of this communication process is our languages. And these languages are what we use in oral and written forms to extend, to relate, to transmit this information to uh, uh, our societies, to strengthen and support our democratic processes, our development activities, etc. Therefore, 
uh, the media is very important for the African Academy of Languages, the Africa, African Union's uh, language agency. As I said, our role, our principal role, is to develop and promote African languages so that we can use them in order to make some society, our society, including uh, the media sector. Therefore, I cannot think it necessary to call media practitioners who are responsible for relating information in our society to collaborate with these media practitioners to work on our languages, to use African languages in our development process, in our information process, in our communication. This is why we are convening this workshop here and uh, uh, this partnership is very important because uh, information dissemination, we say, is um, almost indispensable in our development process. Akalan has harmonized the writing systems of uh, vehicular cross border language, languages and uh, they we want the sectors, the entities of our society to start using these uh, harmonized rules, harmonized authorities in our development program. This is why we are dealing with the media, or we continue to engage the media to conduct capacity uh, uh, building activities and to use them, to collaborate with them to develop our, our languages and to use them in our development process. From the 16th to 19th April 2018, the Executive Secretary represented Akalan in the 17th session of the United Nations Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues, during which a special session on the organization of the 2019 Year of Indigenous Languages proclaimed by the General Assembly of the United Nations on December 19, 2016 was held. It is not how far but how well, in view of the aforementioned, Akalan established five language commissions in 2018, had five national structures designated by member states of the African Union to serve as national focal points of Akalan, totaling 30 national structures, harmonized the writing systems of eight vehicular cross-border languages, launched Pan-African Center for Interpretation and Transliteration, progressed enormously on the Linguistic Atlas Project, attended the Specialized Technical Committee on Youth, Culture and Sports in Algiers in October 2018, where it's propositioned that January 24th to 30th every year be marked as African Languages Week, was adopted by the Ministers of Youth, Culture and Sports of the Member States of the African Union, established an online radio and TV platform to reach out to the rural communities in their languages, hence increase its visibility in the Member States. We say at Akanan that we need to use African languages in the education system. We need to use African languages as official languages in the member states of the African Union. We need to use African languages in the media. We need to produce newspapers. We need to read news on our televisions in African languages. We need to present African languages at 8 o'clock, not at 6 o'clock. We need to do that. African languages should not be relegated and of their status. We need to put them at the fore, you know, at the front, forefront of our development activity. This is why we are here, because we are conscious of the fact that without African languages, we cannot go far. Without the use of African languages in our education system, we cannot go far. You know, if you want to promote a language, you know, as an official language or a language of instruction, you have to have a recognized alphabet, writing system, grammar. So this is what we try to do with uh, the harmonization system. And uh, we try to promote African languages in the cyberspace, you know, and uh, we try to create schools 
uh, or centers of translation and interpretation. The senior program and project officer of Akalan, Dr. Babajidi Ojo, said, We have come this far, even though the TV program is still very young, but we thank God for the impact it is making on the people of Africa. Uh, we have come this far, even though the TV uh, program is still very young, and well, we thank God for the impact the thing is making on the people of Africa. We are seeing reactions. I want to uh, know to implore Africans, our leaders, even the generality, it's not just the leaders, everybody is a leader anyway. Uh, we want to implore everyone to support us, I mean to give us that uh, support and because when they, when they give us the support, it gives us the strength to, you know, to carry on, to move on. Uh, again, uh, we want to encourage our youth to, you know, key in into this uh, project by, you know, liking the uh, our page, helping us to spread, you know, the 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 the, the, the news onto everywhere, everywhere, helping us to reach out onto the unreached, because we are not just going to stop at the online TV only. We are going to add online radio with it. We are going to you know, engage other social media platforms so that you know, uh, people can come to appreciate what they have, to appreciate their language that um, you know, in order to remove this belief that it is only those who maybe who are capable of using English, French, or whatever uh, that can make it in life. Now we we, we are out to to remove that from the minds of people that even with our own language we can do better. The executive secretary of Akalan underscored the view that member states of the African Union should use African languages as languages of instruction and as official languages in the media in the member states and the union as stipulated in the language plan of action for Africa. On behalf of the Commission of Social Affairs of the African Union Commission, Her Excellency Amira El Fadil, Akalan hereby expresses its gratitude to all the members of its organs and working structures for their unfailing support. Akalan is equally grateful to the parent, Department of Social Affairs, especially the Division of Culture, for the continuous support and existence. The Executive Secretary of Akalan urges all Africa to know that cultural development is inevitably one of the main factors of the sustainable development of a people. Therefore, the development of African languages as one of the main pillars of African culture is an indispensable factor of African integration and development. We are therefore urging our leaders and policymakers to render the necessary support to Akalan's efforts to develop and promote African culture and values of which African languages are one of the main components.